Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm the GQ Jedi. If you're not already subscribed to me, blast that subscribe button down below so you don't miss any valuable Star Wars content. I think it's safe to say that everyone has a favorite cantina alien. I think the most famous out of all the cantina aliens is probably without a doubt, Old Blue. That's right, I'm talking about Blue Snaggletooth. Let's check out Old Blue. In 1978, Kenner started releasing their three and three quarter inch Star Wars action figures on card backs. All the figures in the first 21 all came on a blister card. That is with one exception, the infamous blue Snaggletooth, or Snaggletooth as he was originally called. First available as part of the Sears Canteen Adventure set released in 1978, the blue Snaggletooth figure came packaged along with Greedo, Walrus Man, and Hammerhead but it was Old Blue that caused the most waves. The Blue Snaggletooth looked quite different than Zutton, the Snivian Cantina alien seen in Mos Eisley. At the time, Kenner didn't have much to go off of when they were sculpting the figure. They just had some black and white production photos. So Kenner creatively filled in the blanks. They made him humanoid size and gave him a blue jumpsuit with some funky metallic silver go-go boots. Seemed like a reasonable idea until Kenner saw the film in theaters and later saw the holiday special. There in plain sight, in both productions, the Snaggletooth alien looked drastically different than what Kenner made. He was originally filmed in a red suit and was much shorter than the average human. Kenner quickly corrected this error and released on card back in 1979 their newly designed Snaggletooth figure. This new alien was half the size of the first Snaggletooth and featured a red jumpsuit with furry hands and feet. But the die was already cast, so to speak, Old Blue, as I like to call him, was already out in the ether. Over time, he quickly became a much sought after figure since he was only released in the Sears playset or as a two-pack figure with Greedo as a mail away. Very difficult to track down if you didn't hang on to yours from childhood. Today, collectors seek him out due to his rarity and because he has a variation, which is ironic to say since Blue Snaggletooth is already a variation of a figure and yet he himself has a variation as well. Blue Snaggletooth comes with those shiny silver go-go boots, very flashy, sometimes have paint rubs on them due to play wear. That's something that people look at, especially when hunting down this figure. Does he in fact have clean boots? It's a big deal with this action figure. The cleaner the boots, the more money you'll pay. The boots themselves come with or without a toe dent in the right boot. You guys look at the right boot, you can see a little dent right there at the tip of the toe. That is the true variation in the Snaggletooth figure. Um, this one does not have a dent. This one does. With a dent, no dent. That's the difference. Very distinct. Collectors seek out both of these figures, both versions, because they want to have both variations of this figure. But, um, you know, they're both a blue Snaggletooth, and they both come with the same Rebel Blaster, but they are the same exact figure. Just one has a dent in the boot and one does not. That's it. Still an awesome figure. Crazy that Blue Snaggletooth got a variation. Regardless of his rarity, I really dig Blue Snaggletooth. I mean, what's not to dig? Look at those boots. He's got the best boots in the galaxy. Definitely the flashiest dresser in all of Mos Eisley. Highly recommend tracking one down if you don't have one for your cantina. Did you guys have Old Blue when you were a kid? How about now as a collector? Dent, no dent, have a preference? Me, I don't really care. I'm just happy I have a blue. Let me know if you guys like this video. If you do, give the like button a thumbs up because it does help out the channel. And if you've not done so, blast that subscribe button, hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any valuable Star Wars content. And remember, collector collect not. There is no try.